are doing great times, jumping great heights, and people ask if we are disappointed, you know. I run three tenths from the world record, he jumps 10 centimeters off the world record, and people are asking if you're disappointed, and it's like, of course not, you know. We gotta be happy about the results that we get, you know, and that is what it's all about. And for me, I'm, I'm considering less and less about the record because I know that if I chase it, I probably won't get it. You know, it's 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 a very tough situation to be in. So, it's all about doing what what I can and and getting my my potential out, actually. And it's kind of this pressure that's built upon us each uh, each meet. But you know, for me, I've been competing against a lot of great guys, and all the pole vaulters, all the best in the world, have been pretty much at all the meets that I've been at. So. You know, going into it, I, tr I try not to underestimate them because I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. So, um, you know, of course, I'm going to try to do the best that I can do. And if I feel like I can jump higher, then I'll try to jump as high as I can jump. And, I mean, yeah, the, the, shape, the shape's coming along nicely. And I feel like, you know, those higher bars are getting easier and easier. So, you know, it's, it should be good tomorrow. Special platform to put myself out there because... Over the last three years, I've been being in my best shape because of this Achilles injury, and I think I found myself this year doing really great. So to be here to, in my top, top form again, I, I'm looking really forward for tomorrow. Tomorrow, this is my first time racing at the Golden Gala over that distance. So yeah, it's, um, you know, it's a great stadium. I've had really good experiences there before, but at the same time, yeah, a very, very strong field. A lot of the girls um, ran very fast last night. So, yeah, I think it's going to be a really, really competitive race and hopefully a lot of fast times. Right? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, I think that was Samba who beat me here in 2018. Um, so, of course, I want my revenge. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try, of course. So, um, you know, it's always like that. When I step on the track, it's because I'm ready and because I'm going to give it my all. And tomorrow will be no exception. So I've been able to compete a lot and I have traveled a lot so for me it's like I got to train very long it's been it's been great for for my development which is which is what me and my team is always focusing on it's becoming better and I feel like we did you know I ran faster this year than I did last year and it's quite crazy but I feel like there's a lot of spots here I mean it's, it's such a cool and historic city that I feel like you can you pretty much can't miss if you put it anywhere We'd have a pretty great time out there. It would be cool in the Coliseum, wouldn't it? I would imagine that'd be pretty cool, yeah. But that's in a stadium, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I give you that. But with my coach, but my plan is to just stay healthy, use these meets to prepare me for next year, and to stay in the best shape that I can shape. Because, I mean, I'm a double Olympic champion, and I really want to retain my title. And for me to retain my title, the work has to put in, of course. And the more you race, the faster you get. The Get my adrenaline going, you know, get in the right mood. So for me, it's, it's, it's a habit. Maybe it's a bad habit, I don't know, but it works. So I'm happy. But of course, you know, I'm, I'm getting a little bit embarrassed looking at, looking at it afterwards. So that's why I never watch my races. But uh, I continue doing it because it works. You know, getting, getting the best out of me that I can in the hurdles. And... Uh, then the 400 meter flat, you know, of course I will try one time where I'm really just focusing on the 400 meter flat, but uh, for now I gotta prepare for the hurdles. But uh, yes, I thought about the record. See, I've been sat Renault came along and after Bubka, because he was, I mean, he was so fast, so strong. It seemed like that the only way that you can jump high is you have to be this kind of this freak athlete like he was. And then Renault came along and proved a lot of people wrong, kind of just being this small Frenchman and seeming, I mean, he doesn't, I mean, if you look at him, he doesn't seem like that, that much, especially for somebody that's jumped 616. So it, it was quite inspiring for people, especially me when I was 14 years old when Renault broke the world record. It's really inspiring. E vederlo vuoto e sapere che domani sarà vuoto e, e pesante, soprattutto ricordando gli anni passati, quello che è successo lì dentro, vedere il pubblico come come reagiva ad ogni salto, quello che faceva per supportarmi. E so quanto il nostro presidente eh, Alfio ha, pro ha provato, ha cercato di, eh, di far entrare qualcuno perché è importante per noi atleti avere la vicinanza del pubblico. 
sono certo comunque che le persone che mi seguono lo, lo faranno anche da casa e il supporto che mi danno, che, mi, che riescono a trasmettermi anche tramite dei, semi, dei semplici messaggi per me è molto importante in un momento che comunque per me non è stato facile quello di questa stagione in cui mi aspettavo di fare altre cose. My heart was, uh, was sinking last night. I went to the Olympic Stadium and I thought about all the emotions uh, I went through uh, the previous years and I was thinking that tomorrow there will be no crowd. I know that our President Alfio has made his best to open uh, this meeting to, to the crowd, but uh, this hasn't been uh, possible. Um, I'm sure people will, will support me from home. I've been getting many uh, messages and uh, I'm sure that I will feel uh, Italian fans' uh, support. Uh, this year hasn't been easy uh, for me at all. I was expecting something totally different.